Okay, this is one final question about um, unbundling the bond referendums and asking people to, uh, when there is a vote on referendum uh, issues, if these could be placed as single issues on a ballot instead of placing them in a so-called bundle. This is from Bruce Farmer and Phil Single. Okay, this is where it comes from. Um, we have a bond committee, which I'm also a member of. The first elected is typically a member of the bond committee. Dealing, we deal with what we call bond counsel, uh, which is an attorney that develops the resolutions and the questions necessary for the town to go forward with any type of bonding issue. Um, it's, it's, it's dictated by state statute. You can break it up question by question. We also have what they call a bond agent that deals with you with marketing of the bonds, develops a pro forma, and then you go forward. Based on what the advice was given by the bond counsel and our bond agent to the bond committee, <coughs> the last two, and the only two I've ever been involved with, actually, well, there are three, was the communications issue. They were, they were, we were directed or recommended to go with a single question. And that's what we did. That's what the bond committee recommended to the Board of Selectmen, and there was a lot of discussion, I agree, uh, but ultimately the Board of Selectmen decided to go forward with the single question. In the future, maybe we got to beat up on our bond council a little bit to, to, to change this. Um, I will certainly tell you that if the high school vote goes forward, which I, I'm certain it will, there won't be anything else lumped in with it, okay? It'll just be the high school, that'll be enough. Um, but. In the future, we can certainly break it apart. Uh, uh, Mr. Semino talked about a, a petition. I don't think, and I'm pretty sure, a petition cannot be taken up at this time for the $9.4 million because you have 30 days once the vote is approved to uh, redact that, and uh, it was not done. 